Rosie Jones. <laughs> Filming. She's just as bad. <laughs> yeah, I just enjoyed the ride. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was incredible, and we've been talking about this all morning, is this is the first all-female comedy panel show ever. <laughs> Which just blows my mind that in 2024 this has happened. And what was the experience like for you, Rosie? So good, and Anita initially said, I am so proud of that, and I'm so proud that it was three women, but we never set out to make a lady comedy show with ladies. Four ladies. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a funny show. And as a host, I was given all the power. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and, and they asked me if I wanted my team captains to be, and they say, Captain and Judy, not because they are women, but because they are two of the biggest comedians out yep. there. Yep. <laughs> and as your team together, we were such a great group. Yeah. And yeah, we're so proud it's show I've ever worked oh, wow. on. Oh, Rosie, I love that. Yeah. I hope you know what I love. <laughs> No, you know, look, amazing for you to be able to host this. How does it make you feel that, you know, from the reception that you're getting already? So proud because I grew up watching comedy shows and panel shows and they were all done by white, straight, able-bodied and, most importantly, fast-speaking men mm. and therefore that was never a wood open to me. Mm. But what was amazing about this show was the channel and the producers said, we want you, mm -hmm. we want Rosie to be Rosie. So right from the team to the captains to the guests to the regulars to the set, mm. even. It was so made for me and by me, but also for every person. Mm. And it was so inclusive and accessible and funny, but we were never mean mm. with our comedy. Mm -hmm which I feel like a lot of the older comedy shows were. Our main job was to lift people up and bring them along for the glorious comedy ride. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. <laughs> 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 what, 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 is, what, is, what was it like for you? Because I've read articles where you've sort of said when you've done 
panel shows yeah. before, you felt as though you were being cast as like mm. the blonde Barbie as opposed to being a fun comedian. Well, I think for a long time, as Rosie said, it was one type of story being told, one perspective, and then they'd start to let one woman on. And I filled that chair and I thought, oh, me. And I realized that there's such a spectrum of different women and this show addresses racism and it has different genders and it's inclusive in terms of ethnicity, socioeconomic backgrounds. It addresses ableism, ageism. There's just, Six. everyone's included. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sexual, sexual orientation, orientation, everything. And um, it's not enough just to have one woman and think that's like stereotypical oh, yeah. Barbie. Here she is <laughs> because I'm actually representative of the mainstream demographic of women. If anything, I was the white man on this show. Because <laughs> I, I was the most mainstream of us all, I yeah. guess. And uh, you know, you talk about the show in such a heartwarming way and it is a warm show and Judy's just brilliant on it. I know she doesn't want to toot her own horn on loose because you all love her already. But she just, she stands out as being so unique and funny and authentic. Mm -hmm. But the show is raunchy and it's rude and it really goes there and Rosie's twerking half the time. I mean, don't, <laughs> it's not all. Well, I was about to say, <laughs> raunchy and rude, that is basically Rosie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Change your Tinder to that, or uh, that, well, any day. Uh, I don't need Tinder. Rosie's <laughs> 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 doing all right. No, I'm not in part, How did you find your people for the, you know, in order? How did you find those the regulars? regulars? Oh, they made the show, yeah. So we had a great casting team as George to run out. And like Catherine said, we wanted that diversity mm. throughout. And I think me being a gay disabled woman, it would be very easy to go, Great, Rosie ticks all the boxes. But we wanted that to be seen throughout, yeah. and the yeah. regulars are amazing. So funny. Very crazy. Good. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, um, but great. The last time that you sort of made headlines, I would say it's just in January, actually, last month, when so many people yet again were sending you abusive messages on Twitter and on Instagram and all your socials about your mm. appearance on Quiz of the Year. Yeah. Mm. Does that affect you in, in, in any way? Well, no, cos I know they're wrong. No. Yeah. <laughs> No, I won't be flipping. It does affect me. And I think when you're a comedian, mm -hmm. it opens you up to abuse. Because okay. comedy is so subjective. But then when you add on being a woman, mm -hmm. being gay, and most importantly, being disabled, I don't look and sound like a stereotypical comic and that makes people angry. And I think when it comes to disability, it's much easier to put us into a box mm. of are you a vulnerable victim mm. or are you an inspiration yeah. who wins gold medals for our country? I'm neither. I'm a silly little lady <laughs> who talks about her boobs. <laughs> They can't place me. Yeah. That mm -hmm. makes mm -hmm. people yeah. angry. But for all the negativity, there is luckily a hundred people who like what I'm doing. So 
I choose to focus on black. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs>